Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man difficulty, and today we're returning on the campaign with our hardcore approach, um, where we are um, in Act Three. We're today exchanging blue blood for terminal because I wanted to just see how different teams are doing. We are trying to stop the android raid which is going to be a two-stage mission. Uh, Terminal herself has a great gun, but is probably missing some of uh, the weapon modifications. Let's maybe start giving her the advanced scope and the magazine. That's good. And she could take the adhesion grenade instead of the flashbang grenade. Uh, still has the train grounds and the nano med kit. This force slot, by the way, is also a consequence of the earlier... It's not really a four slot, she only has three slots. Um, so that all looks good. She does not have another breach item. So since we have enough credits, let us test another of the breach items. The target analyzer, we already know that one, and the holder target allows you to see all enemies at the breaching point. Um, we did not have uh, that one yet. There we go. And that is good enough. Let's send in the team and see how well they are doing. Still waiting for uh, the three other operatives to finally get uh, to level 5 as uh, we've been waiting quite a while uh, for them and with them reaching level 5 I thought we can send them into kind of intense training and go back to our A-team for a while and just enjoy uh, the A-team and maybe mix it up a little bit. The company that makes recall switches in every combat grade android, an anti-theft measure removed when the androids are sold. Good, time for a good old breach mode. That's looking bad, so we're fighting against eight enemies. Plus 25 aim during the breach, less damage, more damage, and 25 aim after going through it. So I would say, oh no, it's during the breach, it's not after the breach, okay, whatever. Uh, that's good enough. Um, the person taking more damage should be Claymore since he has two armor. Person taking less damage might be Terminal. And I think from a timing perspective, let's get Torque a bit higher up. There we go. Good, we got a turret. Holy shit, that's a lot of enemies uh, taking shots at us. Turret, purifier very uh, f f uh, far back. Another turret, an android. Yet another turret. A commando. <laughs> and another android, okay. Well then, let's try to get rid of some of the turrets. Good, that's one down. That's an android. I think we should focus on the turrets. Good, two turrets down. And we have started with a lot of damage. Perfect, we do have a combat healer. That's exactly what we need. Okay, in terms of what do we want to do? How about we're giving a bit of cooperation over to Torque? Torque 
at the same time tongue pulls the commando misses the 95% tongue pull impressive and we do have two options we can push him further down which i think i'm almost inclined to do or just focus a different target how about we're pinning him further down the android up here will deal some damage but that's okay yeah, I think we're pinning him further down because we can still tongue pull him a second time. And it's unlikely that he's going to evade a second tongue pull. And I don't want reinforcements nor any of the nasty smoke. Okay, time for us to react. Uh, the commando will be dealt with soon. There's another commando up there. Hmm. And one who can act quite soon. Let's get that android down first. This time the grab succeeded. And we're squeezing him. Good explosions, luckily, will not extend over corners, uh, so his self-destruct does not really mean a lot for us. What? I was proven wrong. It means a lot for us. Might as well, by the way, use our med, uh, med kit heal. It's fine. Unfortunately, the shotgun is pretty inaccurate. I'm using it on this range. Time to deal with the commando. Yep, got him down, thanks to the rupture. Purifier moves in, throws a grenade. Crap, I have to move. You are too close. Yeah, we will need to move, that's true. Claymore, on the other hand, will not be so lucky and won't get out of there. We're just helping Torque at the moment, healing her. Uh, release the bind, of course. Enough of that. Hitting the commando. And I don't like Claymore to take any damage. Don't 
Time to get the android. Very nice first shot. Reloading. By the way, I wouldn't have needed to heal Axiom. Axiom has Comet Regeneration. I totally forgot about it. He regenerates multiple hit points per turn. Yeah, that was suboptimal. Explosive out. For you. There you go. Why isn't he falling back? He's running into our direction. That's the worst thing that could have happened. <sighs> Get that fire out. Here's the nasty part about fire. Why I hate it. Uh, you can see. She essentially can only medkit heal herself, because elsewise her special abilities, including her uh, her ability to heal, are interrupted. Should have uh, dealt with the purifier much faster, uh, much earlier. Good. That's one down. And that's another one down. Yeah, target selection was suboptimal. We learned a couple of things. Number one, explosions indeed tri uh, go over board uh, corners. It's different than an XCOM 2. Um, and yeah, focus the purifier earlier. They must be here to destroy the recall transmitter. Until it's replaced, They'll have a window to steal combat great androids. As much as I'd like to smash rogue androids, we can't let Sacred Coil succeed. Good. All non aggressive enemies are surprised. Last unit is guaranteed to lend their shot. And given that we are fighting against seven enemies, we might as well take the standard entry here Hollow Scanner. Target analyzer. Oh, you can't target analyze and holo scan unless what? You're one and two? No, you just can't do it, okay? Okay, makes sense. One is pushing it open and the other one is is putting the holo scan in there. I mean one of the things that we could do, right, is we could do this here. Yeah, why not? Let's try that. Keep behind me. Grenade out. Target analyzer for the extra crit. Holo scanner for the extra to hit. I actually like the extra to hit, so that's pretty damn good. If they are uh, holo targeted, then that is pretty damn good. Alright, got an android, got a turret, got a turret, got a turret, got a commando. The other side will deal with the commando. I would say we're dealing with that massive turret first. There we go, it's one down. Turret, commando, what else? Guardian, okay. Well, the Guardian is a problem. He will not use his ability though, because he's aggressive. He is taking shots, and I don't think that he can use his shield ability afterwards.
There we go. There's the recall transmitter. Don't let them smash it. All right. Protect the device, it is. Team up and get, by the way, Torque up here. We just freshly ruptured everyone. With a solid grenade, we are hitting two of them. Plasma out. Plus, we'll explode the other grenade. And that's another android gone. Perfect. Torque. Whom can we pull with a tongue? Alright, Guardian. Fair enough. Starting to prime the Guardian, actually. Didn't work as intended. Shock grenade to get rid of Get rid of that android. Yep. Our shutdown was successful. Really strong in rate, by the way. I totally like it. Time to grab the guardian. And this should be painful. Yep. There we go. How would we go about that? I think, in terms of damage dealing, Axiom might want a turn. To take two shots at the turret. That's one. And down. Lovely. Afterwards, let's soften up the turret. God, we are wreaking havoc here. Moving up. And using our last shotgun shell to deal with that turret. Okay, good. Perfect. Protect the uh, object and survive three waves. Uh, they obviously are coming in from here and from here and from here. We are releasing the bind. Taking a single shot. There you go. 10 points of damage. That's impressive. I don't know how they would be coming from here. Is there a hole in the rooftop where they would come through it? No, I think they would be coming from here. 
which means if we are uh, overwatching just all of that should be fine. We're healing Claymore. Wonderful. And let's just overwatch. Need to reload. Reloading. We definitely have a surplus of damage. The enemies should should have lasted much longer than they actually did. The civilian is still stunned, which is hilarious if you think about it. Alright, this here should shrapnel. Yep. And we're looking at what? Might as well kill kill the commando. Thanks to our superior stock, we are dealing at least three points of damage. Good. From an action economy, already killed all of them. Um, you know what? Might as well heal Torque here. Need a little help? Keep that robot away from me. Um, it seems we can't really hit the android. Might as well overwatch for the next wave. Incoming. All right, and another overwatch. Don't get twitchy. To reload. We go where we must. Oh yeah, she had guardian. I forgot about it. Uh, so she can continue. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hell yeah, that's a lot of overwatch shots. Civilian, by the way, is still stunned, which is absolutely hilarious. Got to reload. Ammunition topped off. Um, this is going to kill the commando. Either way, because we do have an improved stock. Ammo. Getting rid of him. And reloading. We are reloading and overwatching and finally reloading and overwatching. It, this group is so strong that the enemies weren't even really standing a chance. That's again three overwatch shots. I should probably consider giving her more more extended magazines. 
Oh, this is hilarious. So I think the last the last um, round. Shifting my position. Move or die. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. What should I say? I guess our team has uh, outgrown the enemy strength quite a tiny bit. This was just too much for uh, for the enemies. I can barely imagine how our prime team is going to do now that everyone's leveled up. This will be fun. 100 credits, 20 intel, and... Good job. City 31's androids are vital to the rebuilding effort. Sacred Coil will need to find troops elsewhere. Claymore, you fight like a woman. I'm not sure what you mean. Well, you're fearless. You keep calm under pressure, and you inspire your squad mates to give their all. Ah, I learned a thing or two from my big sister. Uh, she sounds formidable. Think she'll join Reclamation? Fight beside us? Doubtful. She has not come to terms with the state of the world. Well, if she does, I'd like to shake hands with the woman who inspired you to fight so well. When she's ready to hear it, I will tell her. Nice. Reclamation links Sacred Coil to a variety of City 31's missing persons. All human. Stop these human abductions and recover them from Sacred Coil. Time is of the essence. All right, time is of the essence, so we're taking eight days. Uh, sounds about right. Let's grab uh, some extra Elarium here. Um... Should we freeze this one here, or should we just let it go nuts? No, I think we should freeze it. You never know. Yeah, I think we're ready to proceed. I guess we have... Uh, I think we have everyone. That's fine. Good. Chimera Squad, I'd like you to meet a ghost. During the war, he went by Sovereign. He ran the Shrike Network and oversaw their transformation to the mercenaries we know today. Yeah, I thought nobody was in charge of Shrike. So did I, but that's what Advent thought when Shrike was a resistance network. Is he our connection to Atlas? Maybe he is Atlas, or maybe he's dead. Until we know, he remains a person of interest. Ooh, it's getting spicy. So, we got more intel. Got ourselves, by the way, up to 500 of all resources very soon. We finalized our last weapon research. So what are we uh, going to do? Weapon optics, laser sight and scope, that's not bad. I mean, creating scopes regularly is fine, but I think uh, we have uh, gotten a lot of good uh, a lot of good items there. Uh, breach explosives, cease fire bomb, smoke bomb, flash bomb. I like that because we still are lacking um, breach items. We had a couple of good ones so far. Progeny equipments, tail and rounds um, are good. Uh, relocation discs, mine shields are definitely a nice um, item when you find uh, fight against psychers. Psy grenades, the lift grenade is good. Uh, the turncoat grenade, I think that was invisibility. I don't know. I don't know those items yet super well. Gray Phoenix equipment, overdrive serum, hell weave, and region weave. Um, the region weave is definitely good. 
uh, since it allows you to regularly regenerate and Hellweave makes you immune to fire. So maybe that is not bad either. You can unfortunately only stuff one of them in your armor. If you could stuff two into it, it would be actually quite helpful. Um, and I'm not sure if it's uh, the bug that I had um, about mastercrafted armor or if that's um, if that's intended. Unfortunately, the game at the moment is very buggy, so for me it's hard to tell if the mastercrafted armor should have one or two slots. But uh, with so many uh, armor mods, it feels like having a second slot makes sense. Venom rounds definitely good. Gas grenades, uh, so and so, and we do have modular androids. Yeah, well, I, we don't need any androids at the moment. Let's go with the breach explosives. I like the breach um, items. We're upgrading our rifles, so that has finally Finally, all of our weapons are at the highest tier. And we got a nice um, heavy weapon. The banish ability, once per, um, that's an automatic rifle. Once per uh, mission, you can just unload your entire magazine. It's absolutely good. Superior magazines, good. We're going to go for them. And yeah, for good measure, let's take the. Uh, let's take uh, the reflex grip on top of it. So I think the person who could use that is Verge. There we go. Superior expanded magazine. And it's actually not a bad idea to give him the reflex grip. He already hits extremely well due to his neural network. So and Trank Rounds, by the way, make an absolute amount of sense for him. So if we give him Reflex Grip, once everyone is in his network, he can either, or he can even take a shot and then continue uh, using uh, his Mind Flay. Uh, of course, Puppeteer would be probably the prime solution. Um, Banish is definitely another great option, so just unloading um, your entire magazine, in this case six shots, I think, no, seven shots even, onto a single target with such a high to hit rate, whoever he would target would immediately die. So that's a great ability. Gosh, I think he's indeed probably one of my favorite characters. Uh, super strong. And if you equip him correct, he uh, is just going to dominate. All right, for whatever reason, we still have not been um, we still have not been upgraded to level five, uh, which means we're switching the team again a tiny bit. How about we're putting since we just talked about him, Verge and his new toys in here. Terminal can help to further research doesn't speed it up by the way which is unfortunate so might as well give them something to do resource gathering as always Scavenger market is empty, right? Yep. Good. That brings us back to our options here. Either the search for more um, money or we're going for prison break. Which is another side mission. I, we, we don't need the rewards, really. That's the problem. Um, we could also <laughs> just simply go and continue the storyline mission. 
Yeah, but the extra time would give us at least more time to research, so I I get it, um, which means let's get some more Illyrium here and do the prison break mission. That sounds fun, and we might be able to pull off two missions in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you did as well. Uh, hit the like button and a comment would not hurt. Uh, I'd uh, be interested to hear your thoughts. Also, now that you've played the game for a bit, uh, what are your favorite team combinations? I'm still um, filling in for team no uh, for our B team and kind of rotate that extra um, that extra fourth uh, person through. So let me know what you think and uh, see you in the next mission. Bye bye.